Um, After the fight, though, you were shaking your head a little bit. Were you, what was it? Were you sounded at the performance? Were you down? Do you feel like you could have done better? What was it? I mean, I, I, I do feel like I, I could have done better. I feel like in the third, I really could have tried to take him out of there. But I did. I got to admit, he he confused me with his movement a little bit. I couldn't really, I couldn't really find him in the first round. And uh, I'm just, I'm honestly just nervous with decisions. Uh, at this point, I've had two really close ones that didn't go my way, and and you know. Justly so, you know, Edson, who's now my teammate, is a, a, a boss. I mean, the, the guy's unbelievable, and Pearson's a, a veteran and, and out game planned me and out jabbed me. And uh, for the first time in a fight, I was like, I thought I had the, the game plan and the strategy going in. So I was like, man, if, if I get on the other end of a decision right now, I'm going to be really depressed tonight. So that's all I was thinking about uh, at the end. So I wasn't really mad at myself as much as, God, please don't, uh, don't lose this decision. And, um, it was unanimous. So I, uh, once I heard unanimous, I was like, okay, I think I got this. Was he tougher than you expected? I know you thought he was going to be tough, but it seemed like he was just raw out there. Yeah, no, I, n n not exactly what I expected with Josh. I knew he was never going to be afraid to throw down, and uh, I knew he'd be able to take a shot. I think we both proved that we can sit there and crack each other right on the chin and just try to hit right, hit, hit right back. And uh, where I felt um, maybe a little bit, Better about what, what, I, what I anticipated was strength-wise. Since he was a welterweight coming down to 55, I thought that's what I was most nervous about was his size and maybe his strength. And I, I, I don't really think that was an issue. I got right back up most of the time and it nullified most of any, any ground attack at all. So, yeah. Who do you want to fight next? Obviously, Edson's on your team, so you yeah. can't necessarily get that <laughs> one back. So who are you looking at? Yeah, maybe, maybe Ross, you know. Um, you know, he... Uh, He's a tough guy. He, he's a, me and him have joked about when we, we fought each other the first time that this might be the beginning of something. But uh, also a top 15 guy. Anybody in that top, you know, 15 to 10, um, I'll take that too. Uh, or just somebody that's super exciting and the UFC wants to put us, you know, in, in a prime spot. I'd like to be even further up on the card, uh, maybe a, a, a fight night and kind of have a prime position on a smaller card or like a main card spot on a, on a pay-per-view or something like that. I just want to keep moving up the ladder with the UFC and get my name out there and uh, keep putting on fights like this. It's, it's the only way you know how to fight. It's just how I grew up. It's how I was raised. You punch me in the face, I'm going to try to punch you back harder. It's just, and now I've got some movement and strategy coming in with that. This was just the beginning of the new uh, Irish Dragon. You guys will see a lot more precision coming in the next few fights.